Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Problem nine point nine. So the statement of problem is that knowing that beam AB is W one thirty by twenty twenty three by eight roll shaped and P is fifty kilonewton length is one point two five meter and E is equal to two hundred gigapascal. So determine the slope at point A. So you have to find theta A and deflection at point C, which is Y C. So let's start with the given. Data. So in given data, we have given that P is equal to fifty kilo newton. Here, length of the beam is one point two five meter. Here, modulus of elasticity E is equal to two hundred gigapascal. Here, and the beam is W one thirty by twenty three point eight. Roll shaped. The cross section is shown over here. So you have to find the slope at point A, which is the first part, and in the B part you have to find the deflection at point C. Here, so after deformation, the beam will be like this one. So you have to find this y. C clear and there is a if you draw horizontal line so this will be theta a so let's start with the solution first of all you will have to find the reaction forces at R A and R B clear so you can see that the load is at the center so it will be a symmetrical loading clear. So there is a P. So by using use symmetrical or symmetry boundary condition at C condition at C. This R E will be equal to R B. Which will be equal to P divided by two. Clear? So R A is equal to P by two, and R B is also equal to P by two. If if you are not uh, if you are not familiar with this, you can apply the boundary condition. Uh, sorry, equilibrium condition. Sum of all forces and sum of all moment equal to zero, so it will also give you R A is equal to P by two and R B is equal to P by two. Clear? Now you will uh, you will find the moment equation for a bowed beam. Clear? So for that we will take the section of the beam at any point. So let we section the beam at. This point, so I will draw it over here. So this is reaction force R A clear. This the, the beam is cutting at a distance of x. This distance is x. Here, so if you cut the beam, there will be a shear force and a moment at this point. That this point is J, and this point is point A. Now we will apply the moment. Moment sum of all moment about point J is equal to zero. So you can see at point A, point J, we have only moment M, which is counterclockwise, and we assume that counterclockwise is positive. And one moment about point J is due to this R A into X, and it is clockwise. So it will be minus R A into X is equal to zero. So it means that this moment will be equal to R A into X, and R A is P by two, so it will be P X by two. So the moment equation for this beam is equal to P X over 
Du. Mer. Okay. So again this moment equation is valid for portion AC. Clear where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less or equal to L by 2 because why we are interested to find out the slope at point A and deflection at point C. So for this x is greater than 0 and less than or equal to L by 2. So the moment equation is Px over 2. Now we will apply the equation which is you know well now this equation ei into d square y over dx square is equal to m which is equal to px over 2 so if you integrate it so integrate if you integrate it so this equation will become equal to ei into dy by dx is equal to px square over 4 plus c1 here again integrating this equation again integrate it so we will get e i into y is equal to p x cube over 12 plus c1 x plus c2 now c1 and c2 are unknown constant and we can we can find them by using boundary condition so you can see here at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and you can see that point c there is a maximum deflection so at this point the slope will be 0 so at x is equal to l by 2 theta is equal to 0 or dy by dx is equal to 0 so we will use this boundary condition to solve this so first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and the second boundary condition was that at x is equal to L by 2 we have theta which is equal to dy by dx is equal to 0. So we will put in equation A and let this is equation B. So first put x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 in equation a why because at x is equal to 0 deflection is equal to 0 so we will use equation a so when you put it so y is equal to 0 and all term will be equal to 0 so c2 will be equal to 0 where and this equation will become e i I will write it e i y is equal to p x cube over 12 plus c1 x where now we will put at x is equal to l by 2 theta is equal to 0 so in you will put it in equation b so when you will put this will be 0 and this will be this is 0 and this will be p into x is l by 2 whole square divided by 4 plus c1 so it means that c1 will be equal to 1 over 16 e l square now you have c1 and c2 you can put it in these equations to get the final so this equation ei into y is equal to px cube over 12 plus 1 over 16 el square into x 
this is equation for finding the diffraction clear and when you put the value of c1 in this so this equation will be equal to ei into dy by dx which is equal to slope is equal to px square over 4 plus c1 is 1 over 16 pl square okay so here you can see c1 will be equal to minus so it will be again this will be minus and this will be also a minus clear now you have to find the first one is that you have to find the slope at point a which is at x is equal to 0 so slope at point a so you will put x is equal to 0 so we will get ei i am using this equation so ei into dy by dA is equal to theta A at A. So the first term will be equal to 0 and it will be 1 over minus 1 over 16 PL cube. So it means that theta A is equal to PL cube over 16. Sorry, this is square. So PL square over 16. E I. So this is the slope at point A. Now you will find the deflection at point C which is B part deflection at Y C and that is at X is equal to L by 2. So we will use this equation there. So when you put X is equal to L by 2 so E I into y that would become yc is equal to p into l by 2 whole cube over 12 minus 1 over 16 l square into l by 2 there so when you solve this so yc will become equal to minus p l cube over 48 e I. So this is the deflection at point C. Now we have given the numerical value of P, L, E. We do not have I but it is given that it is W 130 by 23.8 I think so. Let me check. W 23 by 8. 23.8 so we if you go back to appendix of your book that is mechanics of material by Baron Johnson so you can find I have already here shaded it W130 by 28 so in its moment of inertia is 8.91 into 10 to the power 6 so i is 8.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 mm 4 okay so from our above data that is given data i will write them below as well so kindly note them so e is given as 50 kilo newton so 15 to 10 to the power 3 newton i is 8.88 .8 something which is 8.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 sorry this is plus 6 millimeter 4 4 clear and e is given as 200 megapascal gigapascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 pascal where L is given as 1.25 meter so we will use we will convert it into meter so it is 8.80 into 10 to the power minus 6 
therefore now you can put it in this equ equation and this equation so you will get the numerical value so first theta a so theta a is equal to pl square so p is 50 into 10 to the power 3 clear and l square L is 1.25 meter so 1.25 square divided by 16 into e is 200 into 10 to the power 9 and i is 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 6 so when you solve this this theta will be 2.77 2.77 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian clear ok part b is yc so yc is this minus 50 into 10 to the power 3 into l cube which is 1.25 to 10 to the power 3 divided by 48 into e 200 into 10 to the power 9 into i is 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 6 when you solve it it will be 1.156 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters so yc will be equal to 1.156 millimeter and this will be downward because this is minus it will be downward so i hope you have enjoyed the video as well as you are learning from my videos as well thank you for watching it